How do you there guys and welcome back to Edgar TV where today what I'm going to do is I'm going to share with you the practice routines and things that I do when I meet up with Kevin Painter. Now I've said that I've been missing this quite a lot uh, during the lockdown period. We hadn't been able to do this since sort of November, October last year. So, and then I keep mentioning it and people are saying, well, what do you do in those? Do you just play games? What, what does it look like? So today I'm going to share with you the things that we do. So the first thing we do is we have a warm up and a bit of a catch up. So we have a chat and we, we throw some darts. So this isn't like playing a game or anything. We just literally throw in and chatting. This is because when we actually play the games, we're not chatting all the time. We're not on the fruit machine. We're not going to play pool. It's got to be a focused and purposeful practice. So to do that, we need to be playing it like we would a game situation. So we're not chatting to each other throughout the, the practice. It's literally, this is the time to do that. This is where we talk about the football. Um, at the moment, we're talking about things like the Euros, uh, transfers and things that are going on. But, you know, general chit-chat, normal stuff you'd talk about. Uh, and that's when we're having the warm-up. Then the games start. Now what we do is we play a series of games using a range of the board to help with that board mastery. The first thing we do is we start with a doubles game. Now this is a little bit tricky to explain as I'm flying through it, but it was based off uh, of a bit like the Around the World version, but also an adaption on Bob's 27. Um, and I'll share this game. I'll do a video on this game a bit later on, maybe next week or so. So hit the subscribe button and I'll put this out there. It's a nice little game that you can play at home. You can play it by yourself or with someone like we do. We play it competitively against each other. So we start with a doubles game. Ooh, wrong one. Then we go on to cricket. We play best of nine cricket. This is the 2019, 18, 17, 16, 15. So the big power scoring segments and the ball. Now, Cricket's a, a very well-known game, we played a lot in America, absolutely love it, really, really good game for a warm-up game, especially getting you using a range of that board. Uh, finishers, 80 to 85, so we write up on the board, 80, 81, 2, 3, 4 and 5, and we play it head-to-head, -head. so we take it in turns, so we bull up, and then we take it in turns to see who can, so I'll throw 80, if I hit 80, my next shot's 81, my next shot's 82. If Kevin keeps missing, he stays on 80, and I'm on 82. And we just keep going until we the person finishes 85. Then you count up how many points are left on the other side, and that's what you've won by. So if Kevin's left with 85, 84, and 83, I win three points, because I finished and he still had three finishes on the board. So 80 to 85 finishes. We play some Shangas. A couple of little goes of Shanghai. Uh, we'll just write some numbers up on the board. Got to clear them off. Same principle if... I've left two on the board, and Kevin's finished his. I've lost two points on that one. Then to finish off, we replay a first to 27 legs. Now, first to 27 might sound like it takes a while, but last night we had a practice. We worked our way through all of this, and it took under three hours. You know, um, so it, it can fly through with that. The first to 27, is, normally we're looking about an hour and a half, two hours maybe of that, and maybe an hour for... For everything else so it's a sort of a good three hour hour practice now what we do is we collect all the scores from this so again to give it that purpose to give it that, you know when you're playing for this level of time you're going to have moments where you just almost feel like you can't be bothered unless there is a reason for it same when you play poker how many people have played poker and then just chuck chips in because there's no real prize or any purpose so what we do to make that reason is just have a quid on everything so um the doubles, I'll explain the scoring system for that at another point because, like I say, it's a bit tricky. Cricket, pound a point. I win five legs, he wins two, I win three. So it's three points to me. I've explained already with the shangers and the things, you know, if there's three marks left on, that's three. And then on the first of 27, we have prize for uh, leg one. There's a prize on 180s, there's a prize on tumblers, finishers, and the best leg as well. So there's lots of things. There's always reason to be playing and to be trying. Now... Find something within your own practice that will do that. You'd see me bang on all the time that the practice needs to have intent, the practice needs to have purpose. You you, you want to not lose, you know, you, whether it's internal or external. There needs to be factors involved that ensure that you want to, to win all the time. And that's how we sort of get that in. And like I said, the catch-up and the warm-up as at the start and all these bits here. 
I think all we'll ever say to each other is I, I need a break to go to the toilet or let's have a five minute sit down or something like that but it's a, a focused purposeful practice that's what we do that's our regular routine this is pretty much every session we do we do it in this we might mix the games up every now and then to to change things off I think we'll probably change one or two of these or things in the next couple of weeks and but that, that, that's it, guys. That's what we do. Let me know if um, you do anything different or if you're going to actually take any of this. And like I say, the doubles one, I will be doing a video on that next week. So make sure you subscribe for that. And I'll catch you soon for some more Edgar TV. Edgar TV.